Hello people, in this video we want to look at exposure keratitis. So what do you understand by this? Itis is inflammation, kerat refers to cornea. Exposure, that means the cornea is exposed and hence it is inflamed. Let's look at this. So where's the cornea guys? Here the outermost layer will be the cornea, right? Now what will happen when there is excessive exposure, right? So the cornea will get exposed dry and then it will lead to exposure keratitis, okay? So read this. There is epithelium damage. The cornea's epithelium is damaged, drying, xerosis and then exposure keratitis. So if this is cornea, look at this. This is the anterior most, that is the epithelium. This is what they are saying is affected, right? So <clears throat> that word if you see here, what are they saying? Epithelial damage, corneal epithelial damage, epithelial drying, xerosis, exposure keratitis. Exposure is, it's, the cornea is exposed more. How will you protect the cornea? You'll close your eyelids, right? When, when you close your eyelids, there will be less exposure. Here they have shown exposure keratitis. Let's look at this. Exposure keratitis, note punctate epithelial defects in the lower third of cornea. Can you see any in the lower third of cornea? Yes, lower third of cornea. Punctate epithelial defects. So what are the causes of exposure keratitis? Anything that will expose the cornea. Extreme, extreme proptosis, that is what is proptosis? That is exophthalmos, that is protrusion of eyeball protrusion of eyeball this can happen in many conditions let's say graves is an example graves disease etc let's show you see this is graves you can see how exposed the eye is right so when you see the classification in graves in class 5 see first of all they're saying proptosis class 3 proptosis is well established class 5 there is exposure keratitis okay so, proptosis is the cause for cor uh, exposure keratitis. So, where are we? Causes for exposure keratitis. One thing we understood, Graves. Then, Bell's palsy. So, what happens if there is Bell's palsy and all that? You cannot close the eyelid, right? When you cannot close the eyelid, there will be lag of thalmos. So, what will happen when there is um, inability to close the eyelid? What will happen? The eye is exposed. So, exposure keratitis. So, you can see this in Bell's palsy. The facial nerve is affected, isn't it? Look at the simblepheron. Here you can see <coughs> the in simblepheron, the bulbar conjunctiva and the palpebral conjunctiva, they are sticking to each other. Okay? Because of this, they cannot close their eye. So, there will be exposure keratitis. And then they have told patients in deep coma, they can have exposure keratitis. Are their eyes exposed or something in deep coma? Okay, so this much you understood, right? Lag of thalmos, inability to close eyelid, where will you see all this? It can be there in Bell's palsy. Ectropion, what is ectropion? This eyelid is turned out, so it will not be able to protect, cover the eye. So there is exposure exposure keratitis and uh, they are telling that in zoster keratitis herpes zoster keratitis exposure keratitis may supervene in some cases due to associated facial palsy because of facial palsy exposure keratitis can happen in zoster keratitis so what will happen if there's exposure keratitis if the cornea gets dry 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 what will happen if cornea becomes dry it can lead to corneal lesions and uh, it is very easy to get infections one more reason they are saying for exposure keratitis is leprosy. Ocular lesions of leprosy includes exposure keratitis. So, in leprosy also exposure keratitis can be there. Lot of ocular lesions are there in leprosy. One of them is exposure keratitis. Okay. Now, what will happen if there is exposure keratitis? So, there will be desquamation of epithelial cells. So, you know how the epithelium is, right? Epithelium has squamous cells. Yes, it says here, right? 
squamous epithelium. So there will be desquamation. So gone, no more squamation. So you can understand, right? The first thing that will get affected is what? Is the epithelium. So how is it getting affected? The squamous cells, whatever squamous cells you have here, they will get desquamous. Okay, there will be desquamation. Then what are they seeing? Superficial punctate keratitis. That's what we saw in that photo, right? This one. Superficial punctate keratitis. See, punctate epithelial defects. Then what will happen? Infecting organisms. Now that it is so dry and desquamation of epithelium, everything. Now infection, it's very easy to get an infection. Corneal ulceration. What is ulcer? It is a break in the epithelium with underlying necrosis. So there can be, now what can there be there? There can be ulceration. Ulceration, a break in the epithelium can happen like this with underlying necrosis. So corneal ulceration can happen in ex uh, because of this exposure. How will you treat it? Basically, you will give some artificial tear drops. How will that help? Soft bandage contact lens to prevent exposure. Tarsorephy, if it is not possible to do anything else, tarsorephy, they will close, they will cover the eye. How will they do that? The eyelids are part, partially sewn together to narrow the eyelid opening. Wow, that's scary, right? Then, You basically treat the cause, okay? Don't forget this. Always write this first. Treat the cause. Proptosis, if it is why, if there's graves and all, you will first treat graves, right? You'll, then if there's ectropion, you'll try to fix that. Simbleferon, you will have to do simbleferonectomy. All that you will try. Treatment of the ulcer. If there is ulceration, if it has led to ulceration, then basically treatment of ulceration. Nutrition. If there is any specific bacteria, etc. and all, you can give antibiotic. Then cycloplegics, atropine, paracetamol, ibuprofen for analgesic, anti-inflammatory, vitamins they are giving, hot fermentation, dark goggles, rest, fresh air. Not sure if fresh air works here, isn't it? It's exposure. Okay, so, so let us just take a recap. Exposure keratitis, it's a type of trophic keratitis. What is this trophic? Trophic, actually, literally they are saying it is some maintenance or regulation of some body function okay anyways um, exposure keratitis um, basically there is exposure leading to inflammation of the cornea when can it happen extreme proptosis that is exophthalmos ex, uh, in graves bell's palsy that is facial nerve is affected there will be lag ophthalmos right there there can, because of a simbleferon it can happen where the palpebral conjunctiva and bulbar conjunctiva are stuck to each other. Patients who are in deep coma, it can be there. Ectropion, where the eyelid is turned out. Zostokeratitis, um, there can be facial palsy because of which there can be exposure keratitis. So, this is showing what? Ectropion. Then we saw in leprosy, it can happen. So, what will happen if there is exposure keratitis? There will be desquamation of the epithelial cells, superficial punctate keratitis. There can be infection, corneal ulceration. How will you treat? Artificial teardrop, soft bandage, contact lens to prevent exposure, tarsorephy and uh, treat the cause. Then if it is corneal ulcer, then again there are some treatments. That's all for now in exposure keratitis. Bye-bye.